Hi, my name is Pankaj Upadhyay. I'm a Sydney-based independent filmmaker, visual artist, and I also dabble in poetry. Today's topic is about remaining creative, or rather, should I say, remaining constructively creative um, in the filmmaking world. Now, as a filmmaker, as a as a person as an individual who dabbles into variety of hats starting from writing producing editing shooting directing sometimes acting and also distributing your film it takes a toll on your mental health uh, because of the transitions each niche area of filmmaking requires from that individual the person is expected to dabble into the variety of aspects of filmmaking which is very creatively enriching however draining at the same time on your <laughs> senses uh, you know sanity consciousness of how active you are socially or how detached you are from each of the different aspects so how do you cope with it and how do you overcome the barriers and uh, and yet you're consistent with your output throughput yeah uh, with your product with your uh, end project and how do you remain faithful to every aspect of filmmaking no matter what now there is no simple answer to this um in fact it's very complex to understand a person's mind especially when that person is dabbling into variety of roles um within the filmmaking world to put it simply i think one needs to take a step back every time they are transitioning into the next aspect of filmmaking uh, i can talk about my own experience and my own process of uh, filmmaking how i go about uh, every aspect and sometimes they can be all over the place we have learned in english the d follows c the c follows b and b follows a and there is no in between however when we are speaking the spoken english consists of all jumble letters the d could be coming before and a could be coming after and this is exactly how the world of creativity is as well the aspects are not necessarily dependent on each other however together they produce the final outcome so my process uh, sometimes is dependent on the story idea which is the writing table that could be anything like my notepad my computer uh, while i'm traveling i suddenly had this moment where i thought uh, this could be told in a visual way i make notes i add the key pictures or i make a note on my phone uh, with a variety of apps that our phones have these days but let's just say make a record of that idea so that you can develop it something meaningful or something that means something to others you could record that in variety of ways because i'm a visual person i like to either take a drawing take a picture or try to visualize um the situation the circumstance the premise of the story 
I will give you an example of my latest uh, short film Bandish. This film is about a couple meeting accidentally on a date and realizing soon after that uh, they were there for different reasons. The story idea germinated when I was in Mumbai traveling to Pune many 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 years back on a train and since then the story remained with me. I had penned it down on my phone um, and uh, it remained on my phone for the longest time and every time I used to go to any restaurants or cafes I used to think about what if the setting could be changed from a train to say a park or a cafe or a doctor's chamber for that matter and hence based off that and based off the logistics that were available to us we finally penned down the script of uh, Bandish and we shot it in a cafe setup but that setup could have been anything it could have been a doctor's chamber it could have been a couple traveling on a bus or a couple sitting at a garden's bench so you got the point right so yes so the idea is really to you know keep thinking keep ideating penning it down and one thing will lead to another now Bandish came from a story idea that germinated many many years back however audition call how this story came about the audition call is a personal story uh, I have experienced those kind of uh, questions and scenarios in my own creative life so somewhere at the back of my mind the situation was always there but audition call the way I have made it the way the film has come about with the sound effects with the uh, with Munisha's character going in the clouds and thinking about the opportunity these things really the visuals you know how visually I'm going to be portraying them came to me only after I was sifting through a lot of soundtracks funny soundtracks I should say when I was thinking of making a comedy film I had made two comedy skit films before where I was the director of photography and editor uh, and uh, those were situational comedies with no dialogues somewhat, somewhat like a theater miming setup however during that time I had because I was also doing the music design of that of that uh, film series I had sifted through a lot of lot of comedy sound effects and comedy soundtracks and I had stored them somewhere on my computer drive so what I do tend to uh, is when I'm driving when I'm going on long drives uh, due to my business travel etc uh, when I'm available for next few hours uh, without any distractions I play them on loop in my car before I reach my destination and while I'm playing those tracks there are a lot of ideas that are floating through my mind some take the shape of short films that you see via my production house and some are still <laughs> waiting to be tapped further into yeah so this is how audition call came about um, the seed the themes track of audition call the music that got me thinking about uh, Sanjeev ji's character about uh, Munish's character how they will be interacting with each other um, the energy in that track gave me other ideas of how Sanjeev ji's character could be walking up and uh, displaying his histrionics before finally meeting the date boy Nish in the cafe <clears throat> and because of his uh, mischievous uh, demeanor and also because the way Sanjeev ji has portrayed that led to another aspect of adding another actor to the film, Preeti's character. 
this came about when I was writing the script and rehearsing with uh, Muniji, with Munish and Sanjeev ji. Um, the idea stuck to me that uh, with the way they were rehearsing and you know the energies uh, that was uh, very visible to me as a writer, also a, uh, editor and DOP of the film, that there could be another character introduced that is facilitating the the chemistry between Sanjeev ji and Munish Munish's character. So this is how Preeti's character came about. So remember, uh, at the start of this podcast, I spoke about how the letters may not necessarily be flowing together in the same way that uh, we have learned. A, B, C, D may not necessarily be, uh, you know, making a word together, but jumbled and they could. There are so many possibilities. You can spell. You can make so many words with the letters if they are jumbled around. And and this is exactly how it happens in the world of filmmaking too. Um, you may not. I mean, of course, you can stick to the SOP, standard operating procedure, and go about your shows, go about your project the way traditionally you have learned. However, there will be no dynamism. There will be no no fun. <laughs> in doing that yeah the fun will really happen when you have jumbled things around and you take inspiration from every step of the way okay i hope uh, my podcast uh, made any sense to you if you enjoy such uh, podcast uh, especially on storytelling filmmaking on audio visual experience on aspects of creativity please do tune in to my youtube channel uh, my spotify channel and also uh, other public uh, radio platforms uh, this podcast is available on right this is pankaj signing out fir milenge thank you